All right, guys, welcome to video number 31, where we are going to be building that create message function, very simple function. So before we get to that, the first thing that I forgot to do is actually link to the main, or not the main, the prompt CSS file. So prompt CSS, there we go. How easy was that? So now the last thing we have to do is create this create message function. So what this function consists of is grabbing a value from the browser or the URL rather and when we have that value we see what that value is and output a message to the user so of course the first thing we need to do is we need to grab that value from the URL and store it in a variable called X so in order to do that just go ahead and use the get get and value is called X and now remember that value stored in the variable X so we can go ahead and create a function and pass in that value of X into it. So let's just go ahead and copy this to save us some time and function. I'm gonna name it create message. And as you can see, whatever value we grab from the URL gets passed in there. So now all we have to do is we need to create a switch statement to switch this value in have a bunch of different cases. But before we do that, I just want to do a little bit of security and test if the value is numeric. So let me go ahead and do this. If is underscore num, how do you spell numeric? There we go, looks about right. And I'm gonna pass in the variable x. Now the reason I'm doing this is just to make it a little more secure. I only want to run this switch if the value is a number, if they threw some text into there or they were goofing around and tried to hack our website, then this bit of code isn't going to run and it helps prevent against uh, injection and maybe some cross site scripting and stuff like that. So either way, now that we got the boring stuff out of the way, here is the main meat of the tutorial and that's the switch statement. So for the switch, just go ahead and pass in the variable x. So it's basically going to see what value x is, and in the case of 0, I already know all these values, but, uh, and I hit the insert, case 0, what do we want to do? Well, what we're going to be doing is, we're going to be setting a variable message equal to a bunch of different messages, and the one that it gets set equal to is obviously the one it's going to output, so let me go ahead and show you guys that right now. Message equals and let me think about this for a second instead of you watching me type you know 10 different cases or whatever it's probably going to be more interesting for you and more beneficial if I just pause the video write all the cases and then come back or else uh, you guys are probably gonna get bored and leave so let me just go ahead and pause the video right now and I will be back in one second alright I went ahead and typed them in another file so let me go ahead and do that right now oh look how quickly I type that and indent that and good to go so as you can see I know that uh, a lot of these cases don't make sense because we're not done with the website but when the website is finished and complete then here's what we're going to be doing like I said on the prompt page instead of making a brand new web page for every single time we need to give the user a message what I did is we're just going to have this one prompt page pass them in a value and depending on what value it is it's going to give us a custom message so for example whenever their account is finally activated we give them this message and give them a link to their login page um, right after they register as we created in the last file we say this thank you for registering an email has been sent please click on it if they have an error message and the username or email is already taken then we give them this message so what we did is we're only going to create this message variable and set it equal to whatever value we need it to be and of course when we're done with the switch what we need to do is we need to actually display this message so don't forget this it's crucial echo message bam look at that so now what we can do is slap our hands together pat ourselves on the back and congratulations because this is done so I'm gonna go ahead and open FileZilla refresh this and upload prompt in the new CSS file and we can test this out right now so hopefully I didn't mess up anything or else I'm gonna be pretty mad 
So now let's just go ahead and refresh this and check out what happens. Username, I'll just put Tony. I'll just give it a fake one, Tony at yahoo.com and give it a password of password and submit it and check it out. Instead of just giving us that error page that says, hey, your file doesn't exist, we get a nice prompt page that says, thank you for registering. A confirmation email has been sent to your email. Please click on the activation link to activate your account. And if we verify in our database, hopefully, oh yeah, look at that. Everything is going beautifully. Tony is now in temporary users. His email, password, and activation code, it's all in there. Now all Tony has to do is click on that link in his email and, well, nothing is going to happen because we didn't create that yet. But eventually we will and that's what we're going to be working on in the next tutorial. So for now, thank you guys for wa uh, watching. You can close out your prompt pages and your register pages and go take a break. And when we come back, we're going to be working on the next step of this website.